What was the Chicano moratorium? The August 29, 1970 Chicano moratorium in East Los Angeles is the largest anti-war protest organized by people of color in the United States. With its 20 to 30,000 participants gathered to protest the Vietnam War and anti-Mexican racism, this event was also the largest demonstration of the Mexican-American civil rights struggle known as the Chicano Movement. The Chicano Moratorium ended in violence, in which 150 persons were arrested and four others killed by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Among the dead was noted journalist Ruben Salazar, who became a symbol of the Chicano Movement. The Vietnam War was a significant turning point in U.S. history due to the deep social divisions it unleashed. Although most people in the United States feared the draft, communities of color experienced it in greater proportion than the white population. While African Americans only represented 12% of the U.S. population in 1965, they represented 24% of the U.S. Army's fatalities that year. Nationally, Mexican Americans, Puerto Ricans, and other Latinos formed an estimated 4.5% of the U.S. population, but represented 5.5% of all U.S. combat deaths. However, in the southwestern states of Arizona, California, Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas, where most Mexican Americans lived and collectively formed 11.9% of the population, they represented 19.4% of those states' Vietnam War casualties. Due to their economic and social position, it was more common for young Mexican-American men to be drafted or even volunteer to fight in Vietnam and face a greater risk of not returning to their families and loved ones. Opposition to this injustice became a major issue for the Chicano movement the great mass mobilization of Mexican Americans during the 1960s and early 1970s. Inspired by the African American Civil Rights Movement, Chicana and Chicano activists fought against political, economic, and educational discrimination while promoting Mexican American cultural pride. Although the larger anti war movement was growing, Young Chicano activists felt it was critical for the disproportionate number of Mexican-American deaths in the Vietnam War to be a central part of the Chicano movement. To this end, UCLA graduate Rosalio Munoz and Brown Berets co-founder David Sanchez organized the August 29, 1970 Chicano Moratorium in East Los Angeles. The Brown Berets are an organization created to support and protect Chicano activists. In addition to opposing the loss of life in the Vietnam War, the Chicano Moratorium promoted Mexican-American cultural pride during a time when U.S. society was often openly racist against Mexicans and other Latinos. White Americans expected Mexican-Americans to assimilate and let go of their culture. To protest against this racism, many moratorium participants shouted, <laughs> After the Three Mile March, the moratorium was to end with cultural performances and speeches at East LA's Laguna Park to celebrate Mexican-American pride and promote peace in Vietnam. Despite being the high point for the Chicano movement, the moratorium ended in violence. A police riot began when the LA County Sheriff's Department excessively responded to reports of thefts at a nearby liquor store. Unable to identify the alleged thieves, the sheriffs charged into the Laguna Park crowd after someone threw a can at them. 
the police response escalated into violence that soon extended throughout East Los Angeles' Whittier Boulevard. One hundred fifty people were arrested, and four others were killed by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Among the dead was prominent journalist Ruben Salazar. Salazar was one of the first Mexican-American reporters at the Los Angeles Times and news editor for Spanish-language TV station KMEX Channel 34, one of the founding stations of today's Univision Network. A sheriff's deputy fired a tear gas canister into a bar in which Salazar and two KMEX cameramen entered. The projectile hit and instantly killed Salazar, supposedly by accident. Many Chicanos think Salazar's killing was a targeted assassination as he ran several stories on anti-Latino police brutality on KMEX's Noticiero 34 earlier that summer. Today, Salazar is remembered as a symbol of the Chicano movement. Laguna Park, the site where the moratorium ended and the police riot began, was quickly renamed Salazar Park in September 1970. The violent end of the Chicano moratorium discouraged further large Chicano demonstrations in the following years. Although organizing against anti-Mexican discrimination continued, the Chicano movement lost its momentum. Meanwhile, the Vietnam War, with its horrific loss of Vietnamese and U.S. lives, continued, as did the overrepresentation of Latino combat deaths. Despite the fact that the 20 to 30,000 person Chicano Moratorium in East Los Angeles was the largest anti-war march organized by people of color in the United States, this event is hardly if ever, mentioned in high school and college-level U.S. history books. It is important for us to prevent the historical erasure of the Chicano Moratorium and its protest against the Vietnam War. The Chicano Moratorium is a reminder of young Mexican-Americans' struggle to promote peace and social equality in the United States. For Nomadic Border, this is Carlos Francisco Parra. Thank you for watching.